like uh, my neck is bubbling up. Yeah. Live. We're live? Good. Yeah. What's going on, folks? What do we got in here so far? I've seen there's a bunch of folks already in the chat. So we ain't going to hold it up, none. What we have here is some uh, 4140. It's quarter by inch and three quarter, probably two foot long. Uh, we got this from Dan Zappa. He's awesome. We had a damn blast with him at Quad State. He brought a ton of this from where he works and come off the bottom of his pallets. Uh, I think this uh this will work well for the project I got in mind. While we was at Quad State, there, I'm sure you guys have seen a lot of the videos, a lot of the pictures. I've got one being made myself, uh, so be on the lookout for that. But we went and ate at a restaurant while we was up there, and uh, we saw an old timey hand forged ice fishing saw and an ice fishing drill. And it, it came with the drill to pre-drill a hole, and also I had the saw just hang on the wall. I thought it was pretty awesome, and this right here looks like it'd be what I need to make that. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and get into the forge. I apologize for the power; it's awesome. She came out right as we got started. She could have done it in a better time. Uh, so we're gonna let her get done, get the hell out of here. Okay. That's cool. She turned the volume down. That's pretty nice. Who we got? Who we got? Questions? Who else in there? No questions. We got Josh Hopkins in here. Ivy Forge, Carmen Hollow, Buddy Down, Ben Jones, Jim Patterson, Ed Christine. What's going on, guys? Miss me yet? I miss you guys. Adam we got a blast, Robin, didn't we? Josh Smith over on Forge, Joe Melvin. How's it going, everybody? Hammer Time, New York. All the regulars. How I many we got? All oh, stuff thugs in here. Bradley's down at the beach. He keeps sending us uh, pictures of the beach. Yeah, thanks, man. Glad we can enjoy your paradise through a phone screen. <laughs> Gomez is in here. Uh, Rusty uh, Hubcap says, team, what's up? Rolling what's up, up brother? Hammers, well done. Place dog order this morning. You did, I've seen that. Thank you very much. Glad you like the hammer, man. You got them just in time, too. So like you said, you felt like you weren't missing out on quads today. Ivy Forge finally got the gas forge up and running. I can't hear you right this second. Ivy Forge finally got the gas forge up and running. I saw that, man. It looks good, too. Uh, I see you in NASA, but you should cook the full bit of the drink guys. If I was you, I would go with a Mazuo or Castle Refractory. Something of the likes, maybe green cast, and put like at least a three eighths inch thick coat on it, and then cover that with Saint Knight, and that's going to hold up really, really well. Annie's in here. Get that old cross beam and chisel. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to split down the back of it. Um, I got a picture on my phone. I don't really have a picture I can show you as of right the second. See if I can bring it up on my phone and get it to where you guys can see it so you can kind of see what we're going for. Got a second. Go and Google ice fishing saw. Bring this picture up here real quick for you. Sully's here. Sully, what's up, brother? Penny's here. Miss Penny, she was a blast to me. Miss Penny was awesome. I don't know. Can you guys see that? Pretty cool, huh? It's, this right here is the, the drill, the starter drill. We're not making that. We're making the saw right there. It's all one uh, one piece. So I think we've got enough steel there in that flat bar to make it. If we screw up, I got a second one out. We're going to make another one. We're going to see what we can do about trying to have it as a success tonight. But if not, first time I've ever done it, guys, so bear with me. Feels hot. Penny said, what do you mean she's blasting you? What's that? Penny said, what do you mean that she was blasting you? Blasting me? Yeah. She was a blast to me. Oh. Did you hear that, Penny?
right. I'm going to split back about eight inches of this or better. Right down the middle. Everybody say thank you to Dan. He hooked us up for parts of this. A ton of it. Take it slow. We got a storm blooming off to the west of us just a little bit back there, but it's staying west. It's moving in a northern direction. So hopefully if it stays back there, we don't have any problems. So hopefully. Any questions about quad state? Uh, or are you guys all talking to the folks themselves that are in the uh, chat? There's a lot of them in there. What's that? Talking to each other. I heard that. Y'all, man, is, is happy that Bradley got the bottle opener. He didn't know that that's who it was going to. Yeah, Bradley got him a surprise when he unpacked his tent, Davey Willard. Yeah, he did. What are they talking about? Oh, uh, Quad State. <laughs> Talking about your neighbor. Yeah, let's hear it. See, come on with it. Y'all get on him. He's used to doing just the camera, not the comments. Tell him to step it up. Make it, make it fun. Let me see if you know what you're talking about. Talking about Jim's board. Coffee said when we all coming back. Since we can all arrange a weekend off work, I guess, right? Yeah. Hey, no, it's his turn to come down here. He wants That's to right. Race. Come on down here, watch a race. They'll be racing in May. They all want to come down and watch. As a matter of fact, we got Tyler Dodge. He won his first race last Saturday night here. He is hanging out with us. He runs the Thunder, Bom Thunder Bomber. John, I believe I introduced you to him while you was down. Runs the number 11 white and red. Uh, Trans Am, ain't it? Yep. I think, uh, he, he had that thing screaming. It was a hell of a finish, actually. Uh, second place kind of drove it in hard. Rolled up, barrel rolled over the back of Tyler's car, broke his axle, and gathered up most of the field. They red flagged the race, and it was on the final corner of the last lap, so they called it there. Hell, he don't want it either way. He led every damn lap, so. Oh, Dan's in the house. Who? Dan. Dan Moss? No, Dan it's Zappa. That Zappa. What's up, Zappa? We're using that spill we got from you, brother. Thank you very much. Where did my system, my damn chip? Hans is here. The Hans. That fella is just as hilarious in person as he is on camera. Let me tell you, he is a trip. <laughs> Alan said, sadly, Quad State didn't involve sacrificing a virgin. We still have yams. <laughs> oh, that's good. That is good. Yeah, we have a blast, guys. A lot of behind-the-scenes stuff that probably can't be posted, to be honest with you. We had a good time. Jeff Fender's here. Jeff Fender's in the house. What's going yep. on? Penny says she doesn't want to wait 12 months. She's getting withdrawal from everybody already. We done turned her into a redneck, guys. She, did. she has never even touched a gun until her first day 
this her first trip to America. And she uh she's like, you know what? I want to do it. So we let her shoot a 22 rifle and let her shoot my 40 cal pistol. And gentlemen, I just want you to be aware of something. If you ever think you're a possible suitor for Miss Penny, don't piss that lady off because she can shoot. She can shoot good. She's a crank shot. I feel bad for anybody who tries to mess with her young too. First time ever shooting a gun, I don't think she even missed the target. And she was what, 40 yards away or better? Yeah. Easy. Nail it. this back just a little bit further. But how I many of you guys can uh, watch the live stream up there while we was or while they were doing his 250 uh, sub 2-2 live stream? How I many of you guys watched that? What'd you think? I missed it. I was on a phone call. Stuff I shouldn't have ever had to be dealing with while I was up there, but I had to. And I, unfortunately, it took me away from all the festivities here at live stream. I had I missed it. Uh, the back end of it, but it was a lot of fun. I went back and watched it, so I just want to know how you guys like it live. They're a trip. Oh, Granddad Ford is in the house. Wow. He said if Penny's ever allowed to buy a gun, it'll probably be an elephant gun. She uh -huh. had that 40 cal pistol like it was nothing, so. Dean Thomas is in the house. All right, we got this thing cut back as far as we need it. Now we're just going to finish splitting it, and that's going to be our handle. Uh, we'll forge the handle, let it cool, flip it around. We're going to use our blade tongs until it cools off completely to where we can hold it with our hand. Then we'll start working on this and forge this shoulder back in there and there and start working on getting the teeth of the saw in this thing. So, and if it comes out of success, I'm going to put some nice wood on the handles as well. So, fingers crossed. Corey Shears in the house. Corey Shears, what's up, man? I got to meet a lot of you guys this weekend. He said he was watching. Uh, he was watching live while he was in church. Remember? Yes, I do remember that. The man was in church watching the blacksmith and live stream. I don't know if I want to condone, if I want to congratulate that or say, you know, well, you're probably lucky, but either way, that's pretty cool, huh? <laughs> got 42 people in here and 42? 17 likes. Hit that like button. Like the smash button, guys. As y'all miss says, like the smash button. Let's see. What's up, Hans? Hans, what's up? I told Yamez I'm not going to be calling him Yams. It's going to be more like sweet potatoes from now on. <laughs> What's up, sweet potato? Who's messaging me? Let's see here. Bob, Ting Ting's live. What are you doing? Let's tell Bob Ting Ting's live. What do you guys think? Hey, Bob, buddy. Uh, you're missing a live stream there, guy. How's that? I'll deal with that message later. I got a message from a gentleman before he forward just now. Probably don't want to talk deal with that right this second, but we'll get done. We'll get done. Yeah, I went from 17 to 28 likes, just like that. What's that? We're from 17 to 28 likes. I, I mean, I know I, I didn't go to the greatest school in the world, but Matt East Lincoln ain't known for uh, their arithmetic. Next 42 watching and 28 still don't make 42. 44 watching. 44. Well, my count, there's 16 of you that ain't pushed that like button. Maybe I ain't interested. <laughs> Josh Smith's overall Ford says he probably couldn't watch the live stream while he was preaching. Probably wouldn't have been a great example. <laughs> You're right about that, Josh. Forgot about that, Corey. You're talking with a preacher in, in the room. He's going to give you, give you 10 Hail Marys. <laughs> Who 
We'll go one more time through this side, and then I'll get my sacrificial plate. We'll go in through the other side, finish that cut up. Once you start getting to the point where you're cutting, almost cutting through, don't throw it without something under. You'll scar your anvil. Right now, I'm not hurting my anvil face because I have something between it and the anvil. But once you cut through, you don't. So you want to put some kind of sack steel down, sack plate, some scrap flat plate, or cut on the table here if you've got someone to hold for your small enough piece. That's what the table of an anvil is actually made for, is to do all your cut work. So you're not scarring up the work face again. I probably said that a hundred times, but I'll probably say a hundred more times on YouTube. Twenty dollars from Coffee Sports. Holy cow! Twenty dollars. What's up, John Coffee? You missed it that bad? <laughs> Thank you, brother. Everybody give him a hand. He is the man. Yep, we are ready to go down the back side. I've got a nice shot right there. Time to come in from that back side. Ha ha ha. Can't keep that clip, can you? They got to think of the quad, quad State chat on Facebook. You better be careful what you say because they are the king of taking stuff into another context. King of it. My lovely wife should be home soon. I got a shot for that, John. Ivy Ford says, still want to give it a go at making a cuffing tool, so get your sledge handy or I will bring mine. Hey, I got something to show you, Ivy, that you might want for a cuffing tool. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Dad Forge is here. Big trigger. I picked this up at Quad State from Jeremiah Champ, Champ Iron Works. He is an awesome person, really is. It was a pleasure to meet him. But this bearing right here is the exact bearing that you need for this cup, this style of cupping tool. It's the exact size. All you would need is a weld a handle on that, put it under a press or something like that, as a, as a, as a die, and it'll do what you need to do. See there. That's what you'll need for a cup of tool, brother. A sack plate on there. Amy Nagel says they're trying to send you some cash to debit as the kids are trying to get money in PayPal. What's that? Amy Nagel said they're trying to get you some money, but the debit card isn't working, so they're going to try to go through PayPal. Countyline at gmail.com. Thank you very much. That is awesome. You guys are awesome. Spending friends and family doesn't charge a fee. You guys are awesome. Know that. I tell them all the time. You probably should tell them even more. Gordon Family Forge says, "How long, or how much propane do you go through in a good week?" Uh, tank a week or so, maybe a little less, or maybe a little more. I mean, just depends on uh, how hard I'm going. Depends on what I'm doing. Dan Zappa says they got that steel pretty hard, huh? Yes, this steel is hard. Definitely hard. We're getting through it. We are getting through it. See there? 
We've already got it split. We've got to work our way back now. Uh, it's definitely some tough stuff, though, Dan. Thank you. Hold up quite well as an ice saw. I had some questions earlier, but ice saw needed to really have much carbon in it since it was cutting ice. I don't know much about ice. I'm a metal guy. I'm blue, stuff like that. And apparently ice is extremely uh, uh, rough on a saw blade. So, yeah, I was going to use mild steel for it, but it dawned on me. I got a whole pile of these things that we just got from Dan, so that's what I'm using. Forty-seven watch. Four is here. Says Ting Ting. Isn't that a short lens between the horn and anvil face supposed to be where you are? Where you do the cutting like that? Yeah, that's what I said. The table. This is called the table. And if I if I wanted to hold that bar between my legs like that, and do that, I could. I could work on the table. But instead, I lay it across my anvil. Just lay a sack plate on it. Because it's a long piece. Just weighs down with the chain so it doesn't move, and it's just it's a lot easier for me to control it by myself. There's several different ways on the anvil, but yes, you are correct. That is what this piece right here is called. It's called a table, and that's exactly what it's for. It's for doing your cut work. And Ivy, he's uh he says this sketch is gonna be freed up quite a bit in the next two weeks for then on, so he's wanting to uh, see maybe about coming down here and hanging out with Ting Ting. Ivy uh, Ford said his ribbon burner ran today at 3 PSI to 13 minutes to a bright orange from cold. Very nice. Tell you what, I miss the weather in Ohio. Aside from freezing my ass off tonight. Daytime temps were awesome. Nighttime temps weren't bad if I weren't sleeping outdoors, but that's the whole point of all. I really was camping. Oh, well, look at you, Kyler. Ain't you, man? Thank you, sir. Rock Mike says, well, the handle on it and have a rounding hammer. So much ball bearing. Ooh, that'd be a hell of a round, wouldn't it? I was thinking if I didn't use it for a tool, making a flail or a mace out of it. It's big. It's real big. Gordon, Damn, if you're not going to test my anvil rebound with it, it'll probably dent my anvil. Gordon Family Ford says they spent so much money at Quad State that he's eating like canned tuna every day for lunch and dinner and breakfast. <laughs> But it was worth it, was it not? One thing I say, you ain't got to spend a bunch of money at Quad State to enjoy it, but it helps. I mean, Ford said he's ready to travel the shop. 
Come on, brother. Come on. Kelly's in the house. What's up, bro? Thomas D is here. Thomas D. For those of you just coming in, we are making an ice fishing saw. We're cutting the ice for the access hole. Right now, I'm splitting a piece of uh, 4140. Now, mind you, it does have a couple holes in it where they screw to the foul, but I do not think that's going to hurt us at all. It's not like we're going to be out here fighting hacking with it. It's just for cutting the ice. So I think it's going to be fine. Saber Striker said he spent a ton of money but worth it. Saber Striker spent a ton of money but worth it. Yeah, well look what you took home. Just look what you took home. Oh, and we worked on a sledgehammer, guys. Uh, I hope I've got some video of it. Uh, I plugged the camera in today, and it was 54 gigabytes of video of uh, video to transfer. So I just let it do its thing. I didn't even go through the video yet. 54 gigs, Willard. Shooting in 4K, though, that's probably about three hours worth of footage total overall that I'd have to go through. Y'all man says he wonders if he'll ever reach Ting Ting status. What is Ting Ting status? Taller? Because no, you stop growing when you're 16 as a man. <laughs> you're going to be short and bald for the rest of your life. Oh, Bob's in the house finally. Bob, you finally made it. Let me tell you what, I got your hammer right over the wall. No, wait, Tyler picked up my tool before we got started and put it in the rack. There it is. I used your hammer all night last night. Working on those scissors, Bob. <laughs> Thomas D says, sorry, Amez, I think you're stuck at your height. <laughs> so there's a lot of folks that are uh, that got one of these hammers. A lot of folks kept trying to take my hammer after Bob gave it to me. As you can see, Bob, it made it home. It has its home in the rack right over here. Thank you, sir. Jason O'Kelly says you're not going to need a uh, ice saw to fish in North Carolina. No, I'm not. Uh, you are right. But on the off chance some, somebody wants to do traditional ice fishing, they can call me and say, Tink, Tink, well, you charged me to make me an ice saw for ice fishing up here in Wisconsin. I can make my ice saw. Plus, it never hurts to have some stuff to hang in the man cave. Right, guys. I saw this thing on the wall. Bob View was with me when we saw it, and it was just the coolest damn thing. It took us a little bit to figure out what it was, and actually, we found out via Mr. Roy Adams. He came over to the coffee ranch and spent the evening with us until 2 2 30 in the morning. Uh, I asked him if he, he knew what it was, because of course that's where he's from, is up there in Ohio. Maybe he's been to that restaurant. And I don't know if he had been to the restaurant, but I showed him the picture, and that's what he said it was. It's a pike fishing saw. And then he pointed out the drill. It didn't even register with me when I was there looking at it. That's what that drill bit there was for. But it uh, makes sense. Start the hole with the drill bit, and then you finish it off with the saw. Saber Starker says he has one CFL hammer and waiting on my second. So pumped. Uh, 
Jeff Fender says he needs a hammer. He'll be hitting up your Etsy store. You know where I'm at, brother. A lot of folks walked away with a Carolina Forge hammer this weekend in the Quad State. Several of them are in the chat with you right now. Rock and Mike got a, gave you a like and a sub. How about that? Thank you very much. We're really close to 1,500. We may break it after tonight. We was four away before I started the live stream. 1,500 subscribers. Science Addict 77 says to ask if you made that anvil chain yourself. Yes, I did. I made that chain myself, Ryan. That's Ryan. I got to meet him finally, too. And, folks, he is. He looks just like his profile picture, man. Can't mistake him. Just right. I made that myself. I've been adding links to it as I go. Eventually, it's going to be about 20 foot long. Actually, I have a live stream on my channel uh, a few weeks back where I made some chain. You just hit 1,500. Just hit 1,500. How about that, guys? 1,500 subscribers already. Channel's not even a year old. That's impressive in my book, I think. Jesse Hart says, waiting on my hammer patiently, by the way. Some of the folks that they, they, they complain said, oh, why are you doing your live streams when you've got orders to get out? Well, that's why that's part of the six to eight week wait because I schedule enough time to be able to have these live streams for my regular viewers and subscribers. It's not all about you. It's not all about one person. There's other folks that like to come and see stuff. So that's why there's a six to eight week wait on my stuff. So I can have time to do the other things that I want to do. And I'm sorry if that upset some of you. I apologize, but I try to be upfront about that. I don't try to hide that from anyone, okay? All right, we've got it split. Now we're going to open it up, take the file, clean the rag up from the chisel cut, and then close them back up and let them cool because I need to be able to hold it from that end and start working the blade of the saw. And so, see bye bye there, sack plate. Change to go about that too. Get these ready. Spread apart and clean up with the grass. Ivy Ford said he's almost ready to go live stream. Only needs 15 more people. What, right now? Right this second? No, not right this second. You only need 15 more. So you got to have a certain amount of subscribers before you can go live? I, I guess that's what he's wanting to do. Or you're wanting to wait until you have a certain amount before you go live. See what? That's cool. Let me know when it happens. You got a channel out? Everybody go check him out. Ivy's Forge. Um, I don't want to put too much of his business out there, but I will repeat some stuff that he has said in the live chat. So it's not like I'm, but he's separated from the military in two weeks. I think it is, Hanson. And once that happens, uh, you're going to be able to be a lot more open with your schedule, make some trips to other folks' forges to come hang out. So put a little more time in his YouTube channel. So you guys may want to go ahead and get a head start and head on over there and subscribe to his channel. Because in about two weeks, he's going to be putting out a lot more videos. I got a feeling. Gordon Family Forge asks, does anybody know what those propane forges are called that's got the side open on them? They look like a flattened letter. It's a pancake. It's a pancake forge. Okay. I'll get out of your way in just a second. I'm just getting this thing in the vice ready. That I recommend you always wear two gloves when you're hot filing. A slip of the file could be a burn of the knuckle. The ship burns. Bad. Matt Urban is in the house. Matthew Nielsen's in the house. What's going on, guys? 
This is another look. Mile I picked up while at Quad State. Big double rasp. Plenty of life left in it. See there why I did why you need to wear it. I just touched that. That would have burnt me. Jesse Hart, get me up, brother. I'm hitting you up. I need brass. I mean, you got. Ivy Ford said his goal was 200 subs. Also says February 28th, he retired, but my work schedule changes in two weeks. That frees him up. All right, you see how I've cleaned the rag up on that. I still got to get this rag here. That's next. Go in the fire. We're going to come back out just like we are. Hopefully, I can get it into the forge. I'm just going to stick it in just like that across the front where that arm will go in there. Come back out and start piling on. Hey, come back down here from Ohio. Get the sniffles now. Tell me to come back, John. Alan said, don't act like we didn't just see that lightning. What lightning? The lightning that's going on all around us. Is it? I don't hear any thunder. See? Told you guys. We're racing a storm. Jesse Hart says, I have access to quite a few. I know several carriers. That's awesome. You guys see, I'm out here for free doing this. And these folks that would fuss about me being out here instead of in the shop working. I'm still working. Free. I'm out here fighting the storm, fighting the hurricane. What's that guy on the news weather channel that was fighting? Yeah, God Almighty, it's going to blow me away. <laughs> 47 people, 40 likes. Why, when I turn around, I don't see any lightning. Oh. Y'all seen, seen that video of the guy that gets goes nuts when a thunderstorm comes through? And he's talking about this one might have tigers with it. Sure. What will what? I didn't see oh. Sign said he says you're working the twenty dollars in the super chat says so. Ah, there you go. How about that? Thank you, sir. Jason Oakley said he's got to go to his son's football scrimmage. You absolutely do. That's not even a question, sir. Thank you for stopping in while you could, though. Tell you, boy, I said good luck in the scrimmage. Keep them shoulders low. Willard got to see this times like on over the weekend. How many forges and animals do we have going? 10 or 12? Yeah. Willard jumped in there like he belonged there, man. It was awesome. Right at home. I want to thank all of you guys, too, for making him feel as welcome as you did. I really do. That means the world to me. Thank you so much. Man, 
like hell, a lot of you just met him, made his birthday real special for us too. So I know it meant a lot to him too. All right, we got our rag cleaned up off of them. We can straighten them back out now and see if we can let them cool for a minute. Any questions? No questions. No questions. You guys make this too easy on me. Just work, gang. That's all they said. Just hey, work. Alan, that Kirdashi knife is awesome. I use it every day. Oh, and let you know, when I got home, I put yours and Sully's keychains on my key ring. We got a 10-euro uh, from Dad's. How about Dad's that? Rats. Thank you, sir. And claps. He says, yep, glad to have you all back from Quad State. Quad Squad, including Willard, is awesome. Hell yeah. Willard's family with y'all now. He said he's coming to every one of them. I don't think he could not come, even if he didn't want to. Y'all would still make him. Uh, Ivy should... Ford says, when are we starting the Monday training videos, or is that on the back burner? That is not on the back burner. I'm back from Quad State now, so you most likely will have a video on it before this coming Monday. I've already got it recorded. I just got to get it uploaded and find it in the midst of all the video feed that I uploaded to my computer when I got back. Josh Major wants to know where he sends the PayPal thing thing for the hinge. My old lady created an account so I can send you the bread. I was being lazy. Countylineforge at gmail.com. Send it friends and family, sir. Sorry, Josh. Man, that was pounds, not euros. I'm sorry. I don't know all that form stuff. that little tail turns up that way I can grab that piece right there with my tongs. See how that's going to work out for me. Oh, Dan Zappa. I got your tongs right here, buddy. And I'm going to use your tongs. I hope they don't mind. You don't mind. At least till this cool fall. Um, Josh Major said he tried looking you up on PayPal, but couldn't find it. Countylineforge at gmail.com. Is it supposed to search something specific on PayPal? No, just enter the email address. Just, in. When it goes to send money, it says enter who you're sending it to, their email or their account number or whatever it may be. Put in my email address. All my information is already in PayPal, so it'll send it straight to me. Techron Maddox in the house. Techron, what's up? He says he's seen a lot of, seen a few snippets from God State. Looked like a lot of fun. Can't wait to see more. I've, I've got a nice video coming. I've got a, well, hopefully it's a nice video. I've got a lot of editing to do, a lot of stuff to go through, a lot of footage, lots of pictures, lots of footage. I would have liked to have gotten more pictures. I was I, I was in control of taking pictures. Willard got all kinds of footage. He left me with like three minutes of time on my memory card, so he got all the footage he could get. So that's awesome. Me, I probably took about 50 pictures total the whole weekend just because I don't think I got more than five minutes alone. That's a good song, too. Josh Major said he didn't have to eat the Gmail. Ah, there you go. And the Gmail, brother. Saber Striker has a question. What you got, Saber? What should I work on to build up skills? Should I stick to making S hooks, or is there something useful in a skill builder I can make? Okay, uh, S hooks. How many have you made? That one real quick. Because, believe it or not, an S hook has a lot more skill building techniques in it than about anything you can do as a beginner. 
you have to learn how to draw things out evenly. You have to be able to round things up if you start with square bar. Uh, nice, even paper. Learn how to scroll the end. Learn how to make consistent bends in the S-hook. And then also, that'll teach you to make jigs, to make repetitive motions and stuff like that. Making S-hooks does a lot more for you than you can imagine. Uh, I would say until you can make an S-hook blindfolded, Sorry, I just noticed something that happened up there. Somebody punched through pretty hard on my anvil, but left a hole in the face. Champ Ironworks is in the house. Hey, sure. Champ, thanks for the shirt. I wore your shirt yesterday, brother. All right, we're going to try and bring this back on to itself a little bit. Infinite heart expression in the house. Becky Smith, how you doing? Glad to see you. Chant worked so long with me on that billet that he got a sunburn from it. <laughs> and he uh he got a burn on the back on his back, he thought it was a cut. Oh it was a scab, no, it was a piece of scale that it melted to him. So he's uh forever got a piece of that sledgehammer as a part of him now. I'd like to see the sledgehammer. Let me go grab that. Not a sledgehammer yet. We have the eye punch. Now it's up to me to get it drifted and forged the rest of the way. <laughs> this is what we worked on up there, me and Champ did. Roy even helped us a little bit. I just a little tweak, but there is so much meat here on these cheeks that 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 won't be an issue. That we can straighten that out completely because we had a lot of drift work to do here, so we can get that straight with the drift work, no problem. And I'm going to isolate the faces, obviously, and do my thing. So, yeah, thank you, Champ, for helping me uh, punch that. Wheeler got a few strikes in on it as well. Did you not? Yep. I think uh, Wheeler wanted a little more than what he had. Champ said, no, this is my baby. Give me that hammer back. You ain't taking my glory. Yeah, Champ hogged the hammer. <laughs> Champ said, this is mine. <laughs> Yamez got in on it, yeah, too. That's what he just said. Yamez got some swings on that bad boy, so we got several folks involved in that hammer. It's going to be awesome. I Jim. think uh, before I handle it or do anything else to it, I think I'm going to save it for the next quad state and it be finished and let all the folks that are involved in it put their touch marks on. Dad Rat says he's got to go to bed. Good night, all. Peter Trigger, thank you, sir, for the super chat. You have a wonderful night. I know it's late over there in the UK, man. Jim Peterson asked, how thick of a piece of steel to make a cuffing tool from those big ball bearings we got? How big of a piece to make a cuffing tool out of the ball bearings that we got? Yeah. I would use a piece of two inch square and I would upset that I would draw out a shank on it like I did the other night with that uh, hardy tool that I made and upset that down because you're going to need a lot of mass to go around and come up around that uh, bearing. So I'd go with at least a two inch 
square. Four inches long, five inches long, maybe. No such thing as it being too big. It's got a lot of extra material. As long as it fits in your heart, it's shame. Saber Striker said he was afraid of the sledge. And he also says for the handles, what do you think? Hickory or Purple Heart? Hickory. If it's between those two, Hickory. Purple Heart does fine, but Hickory does better, I think. Ivy Ford says time for showers. He's going to submit it. Drop Ford. All right, we've about got it drawn down into a little more, more heat, I think, and we'll have it evened up when we want it. Yeah, we found the missing touch mark. Rob tried to take it in his toolbox. Rob accident. likes it so much. I am glad that they found that, though, man. That the only, that's the only thing I think Sully brought from his forge with him was his touch mark. That would have sucked if he wasn't able to take it home with him. Champ asked, why the ice saw? Do lakes even freeze by us? The ponds do. I'm making an ice saw just because. Yeah, we get a half inch at most. Don't try to walk on it, that's for sure. Yep. If you want to go fishing right here on the ponds, just put a bigger sinker on it. It'll bust through the ice for you when you cast. You don't need a saw. <laughs> but that's not to say that somebody can see that I can make an ice saw one day and say, hey, I want an ice saw made by Ting Ting. My live stream is generally just for fun, for doing things that I think are cool. Because I'm going to tell you what, I got a lot of inspiration from uh, Ohio while we were up there. A lot, man. And another thing that I picked up while I was up there, these scissors. Um, they're Pakistani. They're made in Pakistan. They're probably made out of not the best steel. But that's not why I bought them for. They look awesome, for one. Okay? And they work amazingly. But I want to learn how to make them. What better way to learn how to make hand forged scissors than to buy a pair of hand forged scissors? I paid $10 for these at Cracker Barrel. Uh, since they were up there near a lot of blacksmiths and everything. They had a lot of forged items at Cracker Barrel when we went and ate breakfast on our way home. Saw them, grabbed them. So, another live stream coming up is going to be me making these scissors. I've already been practicing on them. I've got a lot of the techniques taken care of. I just got to refine, refine it before I do it on the live stream. Uh, because that, a lot of intricate moves and everything, I want to make sure I know what my moves are when I'm doing this before I come out here and fumble around this. I saw pretty straightforward and self explanatory. So. Josh Smith wants to know if it's okay with you if he does a, a quick self promotion. Absolutely, brother. Go for it. Promote. Do it, do it. Ben Toombs said he's coming next year. Everybody's in trouble. Who said that? Ben Toombs. Oh, hell. Captain Nemo's coming. It's a lot of fun, too, Ben. I'm telling you. Trust me. Everyone, every walk of life is welcome. I don't think we have ever been anywhere in my life knowing that I was going to meet a group of strangers. Okay, strangers. People I've never met. I've talked to them online several times. I've never met them. The only person out of that whole group I've ever met John Coffin. I knew I liked John Coffin. But everybody else is just, man, I hope it goes well. I hope, I hope we get along, you know. We got out of the truck at 3.34 o'clock in the morning, put our tent up. These guys jumped out of the tent like Willard was their best friend, sat and talked to them like they didn't know for 20 years. I tried to take a nap, but that was cool listening to them. And I just knew right then, I was like, it's going to be a good weekend because nobody's a stranger to these folks. Nobody. And it, that's how it was. I, I, I've had more awkward silence and awkward moments with family or with some, some people around here, not sitting here, but in here, than I've, uh, I had while I was up there. You know, it just it, it felt normal. It felt great. Y'all out of here? 
Have a good night, guys. Alan says, uh, he says, cool, we'll have to get the we'll have a, we'll have all the free candy we can eat. <laughs> is the rusty hubcap in the house? Well, Steve, yeah. He is. All right, I'm going to grab something. This man made something for us and sent it to us, and I want to show y'all. Bob, you ain't too bad yourself. For a semi yank. Penny, I want some more of them double decker candy things that you had. Them things were so good, man. She brought some candy for me. I mean, it was like a whatchamacallit. It was better. Dude, it was wrong. I eat like two of them. After this heat, Alan, I'm going to show them what you sent us. All right, I need to start drawing this end down a little bit. Kind of taper. Not to a point, but... Zappa says he's pretty sure he was the most Yankee there. Zappa? Yeah, because I told Bob he wasn't too bad for a semi-Yank. <laughs> Everybody wants me to take a bow. Sorry, guys. I'm feeding my face, recording, and reading comments. I'm multitasking. I'll do it in a minute. It's just a tough steal, Dan. I don't think there's a single one of you guys that I didn't hit it off with completely and feel like randomly, man. You guys are awesome. Uh, Dan, where are you from? You be Yankee or not, y'all's all cool. Josh Major says, can you ask what quad state is? Laugh out loud. Can you ask what quad state is? Yeah. You can, yeah. I'm, I guarantee everybody in that chat can tell you what it is. It's uh, basically a... Uh, Blacksmith Roundup in Ohio, uh, held by Southern Ohio Forge and Anvil SOFA. Every, they, they have monthly meetings up there, but they have their yearly roundup at the, the third weekend in September. People from all over the country come up there to sell, do demos, uh, comp forging competitions, uh, art galleries. Tailgate sells out the yin yang. Uh, it's just awesome. You camp up there, you have a great time. There's just so many different people to come. You can meet some. Meet, you can meet a lot of Smiths that you can watch from afar. You can actually go up and meet, hang out with them, talk to them. They can forge with you. You know, you, you go if they got their shop set up, they got to open, do some open forging, whatever you go up and go in there and talk to them, and they can probably let you forge something with them. They're going hands on right there with you, man. It's awesome. Jacob Garrison's in the house. Iron Eagle Forge is in the house. It, Iron Eagle Forge asked, How was Quad State? It was amazing. I didn't sell as much as I wanted, but I learned a lot more than I ever expected to, which is going to help me a ton in the future, guys, a ton. Which also means I have some discounted tools that I made to take up there that are for sale. I am selling my three burner forge body that I built. It's for sale. I have an anvil for sale. I have a post vice for sale. Uh, while I was up there, I ended up buying an entire truckload of post vice uh, for dirt cheap. And sold them before we even got a chance to really unload them. But I do 
do have one pose vice left. In working condition. For those around here that are interested in a pose vice. It was meant to go to someone that didn't take it. So it is here. There's a few of you in here that got some pose vice from me, as a matter of fact. I saw that one. I'm all hearing thunder. You think that's just humidity? I think it's just humidity, like heat lightning. Because there's no thunder. If you hear thunder, though, you bet your ass we wrap it up because I'm underneath the big conductor. Yeah. I'm just holding on to a lightning rod, that's all. Science Addict says, I forged a mini anvil up there, and next year I'll be driving a bell hop dolly. Yes, he did. He showed it to me, too. A little block of rock that he condensed down into the body of a mini anvil. Did you get it finished, Ryan? Did you get to add the horn and the, uh, the, uh, the, tent, the heel up? Or did you just get to the point with the body? Because what you showed me looked great. It was a block of rock, shape of body. Uh, yup. Wow. That was a first. Tighten that up. Sorry, guys. Technical difficulties. Yama said he's going to try on the next month to plan a weekend to come up and bring the island to you. Bring the island to me. Come on, brother. If you come up over the weekend, I'll take you to the, we'll go to the Renaissance Festival and go check out their blacksmith up there. All right. Focus in real good right here, Willie. Yep, coming in to you. start my first set down here. Okay. Side of the animal. Get another heat. We're gonna run that step in a little bit more. See, I've got that first tube set out there. I'll drive that shoulder in a little further and sharpen the teeth right there. Okay. Wow. Sorry for the camera mislaps, guys. I ain't eating all day. Tell him he's still doing better than Ting Ting did when I was by myself, so we ain't mad at you, bro. <laughs> oh. build us an actual table for this thing one day, Willard. One day. One day we're going to have a real professional setup out here. <laughs> Dan says, finally found my stick welder. I need to fix the post vice that James broke for me. Sorry, man. I broke a lot of shit this weekend. I'm sorry. But one thing I didn't break, Bob's hammer. Not wailing yet. on it. Not yet. Not yet. That's right. That's not yet. I broke my own hammer handle. Well, I believe you, uh, somebody. Thunderstorm warning. Thunderstorm warning for us, huh? What? Oh, I saw that one. That wasn't no heat lightning. Folks, if we get shut down, I'll do another one tomorrow night to come back. If we get shut down, I will go live again tomorrow night, I promise. Okay? Even if Willard's not available, I know he's probably got plans. I uh, probably won't be available tomorrow night. So, it's still fine. I will be back. And he says if everybody keeps messing with us, she's going to move over here. Come on, girl. We'll find a place to show She don't need to be messed with. She wants to come anyways. She's already got her, work, her redneck accent worked out. Uncle Buck's Forge is in the house. Uncle Buck, I got to meet that man. And let me tell you, that man does some pretty cool work.
bring that tooth out some. Then we're going to another step down here. The hubcap's leaving. Oh, hubcap, wait, wait. Okay. Hold on, hubcap. Wait. I got to show off something. You guys know Rusty Hubcap. I know him affectionately as Mr. Alan Schooner. He makes, he is a wood, he is a woodworker, an amazing carpenter. Okay, he's been doing custom woodwork for 30 plus years now. He's got his own shop. He made a few of us some hammers and sent them with, uh, I think he sent them with Jim Patterson. He sent them with up to Quad State. And I'm going to tell you what, these things are laminated together with different types of wood. I'm not certain what kind, but it is gorgeous. I mean, it's a handcrafted wooden mallet. You'll see right there, handcrafted by Alan Schooner. I want to know, Alan, do you want me to use this or do you want me to hang this up? I need to know what you want me to do with it. I am fine with either one, brother, because that thing is gorgeous. I don't know if you wanted me to use it as a showpiece, because it's damn sure worthy of being a showpiece. <coughs> he said, do what you will, sir. All right. Do what I will. I'll probably be the only one out of the quads they punch to you. Because as beautiful as it is, every tool I get is to use. What's up, Tyler? That's right. It's a hammer. That's what it was made for, right? Uncle Buck said he's got him one of your stock cuts. Yes, he did. I got one of your striking animals, man. And Uncle Buck, you have requested that we upload videos of us building the stands for them. Well, I'm going to do just that. Once I get my quad snake video done, get everything taken care of, and space freed up on the computer, I'm going to make a video for the stand. That's my next uh project or a video to release to you guys after I we're on the uh, second tooth right now it's off um when i bring it out this time will if you will zoom in just to show them kind of where we're at for those that are asking let's just see what we're doing what we're doing right now really is just stepping the teeth back we're working our way back from the tip of the saw back with the teeth in this is a series of near side set downs on your anvil uh kind of keep your piece instead of flat and square with your anvil Cock it down probably a 10 or 12 degree angle. That way you can work yourself back down that blade. You don't gotta keep your blade don't even get wider and wider and wider to keep these set down the same. Saber strike striker says see you guys. See you, brother. Thanks for stopping in. Alright, here. You see what we got there? First tooth right here. We're working on the second tooth. Okay. And See, I don't have it square. I've got this cocked down a little bit like that. Then we're going to come up here. Same distance. Another one. Mike says tools are made to use or made to use the beat on that gorgeous hammer. That's what I think. Pretty as they are. I bet you Alan would be even more pleased to know that they're not only gorgeous but functional. Okay? Because just because I use that thing don't mean it's going to get ugly. Hell, that thing's going to stay beautiful until I beat it to pieces. Okay? gonna get some character out of it. That's right. It ain't no good if you don't use it. Just gonna get some character. A little bit of love. 
I tighten this thing one. down. That's the wrong one. You got to tighten that bar. That bar. That one tightens up and down. This one tightens left and right. Well, I want my left and right. Keep your left and right loose, brother. Y'all think I'm a rookie with this thing like, like it's my first time. It's Thud Thud's fault. He's just keeping y'all on your toes. It's Thud Thud's fault. Bradley's down there in paradise. Looking for the Big Dipper. Iron Eagle wants to know what forge you eat, what steel you were using for the saw. 4140. I got it from Mr. Dan Zappa. He, uh, he works for a company. Uh, he's an engineer. As a matter of fact, he's a very smart man. Uh, more than that, just from weekend with him, he's very, very intelligent. Uh, but the company he works for has got these pallets that come down these lines, and they have these steel plates on the bottom to keep their anti-wear plates, and they're replacing them. They're going through the whole company, replacing all of them right now, and stocking them up. They thought he'd do what he wants, but he brought a truck load of these things. He's probably got 3,000 of them at access to about 3,000 of these plates. He brought and dumped off all load on us, man. And I really appreciate it because it is damn fine field. It's 4140 or 4130. Bob, I know, man. I'm sorry. Giving him that. What did he say? He, he asked crazy. what I'm doing. He told you it's not those fault. Iron Eagle Fours wants to know if they are for sale. This steel's for sale? Hey. Talk to Mr. Zappa. He gave me a bunch for free. I would not feel comfortable selling it to you uh, because he gave it to me for free. I'd be more than happy to send you some. If you, if he hasn't have any more right now, if it's all at work, I'd be more than happy to give you some if you'll pay the shipping, but I don't know if I'd be comfortable selling it because he didn't sell it to me. He gave it to me. And I'd be more than happy to pass along the love. As long as you uh, pay for the shipping, man. If that's fair to you, that's fair to me. Mr. Zappa said he finally got him a tripod. He guess he should start recording stuff. Yeah, you should. Especially with that gorgeous gold forge you got, man. He has got a really nice gold forge. Really nice. See what we got here. See the teeth. Now, when I'm done, I can file those sharp. That's all the cuts. Is that it cuts on the push stroke? This handle up here is going to bend up to a straight hard ninety, bend over, and then I'm going to round it out, and put a wooden handle there, and then this handle here just bends straight down, so I can push. And it just cuts on the push stroke. And you just work your way around to cut your block of ice out. Okay? Charming Hollow is Hans, right? Yes, that's Charming Hollow. Hans says too much cereal. <laughs> you funny, Hans. Not today, brother. Oh, I do want to know who was punching on my anvil. You, uh, Put a really nice punch mark in it right there. I don't mind if you punch on it. Once it's time to punch through, go to the printer hole. Old Hickory Ford said to tell you you're a nerd. I am a nerd, you bigger nerd. If you guys don't know John Norwood's a good friend of mine at Old Hickory Ford. Go check him out on YouTube. He does some awesome stuff. He's got he's a lot of Viking oriented stuff. He does saxes. He's really great with blades. Makes swords, Viking axes, spears, things like that. Really cool dude. And he's big as hell. Takes up the whole camera. That's why he only shows you his hands. Right. Yeah. And thanks for making my back hurt, John. That suede block was heavy. <laughs> John, if you just join us, man, we're making an ice fishing saw. I'm going to have to grind that because I'm being OCD. I see that ding there. It's driving me nuts. Shepherd's Ford says, as a big ice fisherman from Wisconsin, he's never seen the ice knife, but damn, it looks, it's looking like something I'd use. Yeah, man. I, if 
you didn't, if you weren't here earlier when I, I saw it, it, it was hanging on the wall. I showed a picture earlier. Hanging on the wall in a restaurant we stopped to pick up some murders from. Their wall was covered in hand forged tools and stuff like that. And that was the one thing I could not identify. Uh, I couldn't identify that, and I took pictures of it. And when I got back over to Coffee's place, we were forging that night. I pulled my phone out and I asked for uh, Roy Adams over at Chrysler Hourworks to show it to him. And he told me that it's a hand forged oxygen saw, probably around the turn of the century. So I thought that was about me. That was a bee's knees, man. So I was like, I'm going to try and make that. I took pictures, analyzed it. It's like, yeah, I can make that. And I want to try. May not ever get to use the damn thing for an ice fishing saw, but I'll definitely test it out on a block of ice. Alan says he may not, he can't remember if he was punching on that part of the anvil. He says he's pretty sure he was close to the back by the pick of the crystal. I remember, but when that he was may punching. have been him. I remember when he was punching, I, it wasn't him. I was right there with him. He was punching. He, uh, he worked into the uh, back. Of, he was working back here. And I'm not upset about it. I mean, I wouldn't bring my anvil up there if I was going to get mad with it. That's just a teaching point. That's just proofs in, proofs in the foot and what happens if you don't. I mean, I pay $400 for a second. I can fix that no problem. I'm not upset at anybody. I am going to have to fix it so I don't look at it being MCD, but does it upset me? No, it does not make me mad. Please, do not feel bad. I mean, it's a learning experience. It's just, I take it as an opportunity to teach instead of fuss. That's, a, that's all that is. So. We're going to blame it on Dan since he stole the cat. Dan, it's your fault, man. Sorry. I said that only because he said he punched his phones at home. And to make it up to me, Dan, you can trade me that. You can just give me that Columbia. How's that? I need a good demo angle. You got that beautiful Columbia. I mean, that thing was dirty. How's that? Sound fair? He said, ha ha. <laughs> I thought you might like that. John Tompkins says, James, you're from North Carolina. That's a hay salt. I ain't no hay salt. <laughs> I know what a hay salt looks like. It's a big, it's a mowing side. Got a big sweeping curved handle, big hooked head. I know what those look like. I've swung them before. That's for sure. There any more cold ones over there? Huh? <laughs> now you see Pops is probably not in here tonight, is it? I ain't seen him. I haven't seen him. He left his knife up here. We've got 38 in here, 49 likes. I like it, I mean, guys. Right here? 38 with 49 the likes. I know there's some folks up there sitting around ice fishing or wanting ice fish right now saying, damn, I wish I had something I could cut this ice with. Share. They might not be in America ice fishing yet, but they somewhere in ice fishing. All right, we're going to make us another tooth. Alan says, I normally do all my fishing on melted ice. I can saw it with pretty much anything. What'd he say? He said he normally does all his fishing on melted ice. Huh. He can saw it with anything. Imagine that. Imagine that. Trying to get a good clean shoulder there. Techron Matic asks if you're going to enclose this space anytime soon. Yeah, that's the plan. That's why I won't buy an ice fishing saw to help me enclose my shed. Y'all got to buy stuff so we can do it. One thing at a time. One thing at a time. I want to do it for sure. Jam says, I'm sure you can make a knife that won't cut water, Alan. Just try harder. 
<laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, funny man. Everybody enjoying this one tonight? A little different, I know. Thirty-eight watching, fifty likes. We're at an hour and twenty-one minutes so far. Right. Can they see the anvil? Yeah. Thomas D said good night all. He's got to run. Thomas D, have a good night, sir. Thanks for hanging out. And if we don't finish this tonight, we will pick back up on it next week. I've been very fortunate that this storm held out long enough for me to get this in. Uh, it's closer, brother. Yeah, it's getting closer. We're calling for penny size hell. Penny size hell. What's our radar look like? Jesse Hart says that does look like a hay saw. It's not the sickle you're talking about. Huh? He says that does look like a hay saw. It's not the sickle you're talking about. Who said that? Jesse Hart. Well, uh, I've got it on the. Uh... I don't know. I was told by someone fairly confidently that that's exactly what it was because it count it has a drill bit and that saw with it. It's made. Uh, I mean, it's. I don't know. Maybe it is a hay saw, but he was quite confident in it being an ice fishing saw that he's seen several of them. So cutting the blocks of ice, cuts on the push stroke. And that's why it has that big four foot long drill bit with it. So you can drill your starter hole in the ice, get your saw down in there and cut it. Alan wants to know how the chest set's coming along. Oh, it ain't. It's been so busy. It took a seat on the back burner for a while. Heard his lows in the house. Zappa Ford says that is an ice saw. He has used them before. There we go. Zappa lives up in Michigan. He, he's, uh, he's pretty confident that it's an ice saw. And it, it does resemble a hay saw. Does it? Yes. Yeah, you need a saw for hay. It's, it's ice, dunk, hay bale, ice, and dunk. Now, I lived out here in hay country. I ain't never used a hay saw. I built a ton of damn hay. Jesse Hart says it saws bales of hay. Teeth may be sharpened differently. Not saying your saw isn't an ice saw. So it is used for both. They just need to be sharpened differently. Ah, I got you. I see what you're saying. Damn four. Well, now I'm going to have to go Google a damn ice or a hay saw and make some of those for the farmers around here. See, folks, learn something every day. Thank you, thank you. I'm sure somebody's going to email me and cuss me out, though, for telling him I didn't think it was a hay saw. I'm not saying he will, but the last time I disagreed with one of you guys, I got a, uh, a rough email and, oh, I'm going to... Driving. See you, bye. <laughs> Jesse Hart. 
dip. All for disagreeing, you know. What's our radar look like, folks? Is it getting about close time to shut it down? Yeah, yeah, looks, looks like, like a hay saw, but it's sharpened different as well. Uh, you're right. You're right about that. It's just sharpened differently. Both sides of the tooth are sharpened on a hay saw instead of just a push stroke. You hear that? Well, there's about 15 minutes out. About 15 out. One more heat, guys. And what's our time on here? 126. I'm going to still do a live stream tomorrow night just because I love you guys. What do you think? You guys okay with that? Thumbs up in the chat. Thumbs, up in, thumbs up in the chat if you're okay with him going live tomorrow because the weather's going to cut us short, guys. Let us know. Somebody buys my, the my propane bottle and I'll be. Y'all have already taken care of that, so I'm happy, happy, happy. I'll be more than happy to use it. Got two thumbs up. Three. Sully says, yeah. Iron Eagle says, yeah. Coffee, yeah. Look at all them thumbs ups. All right. I've got to see if Roy's doing a live stream so I can coordinate around his. And you guys are going to have to deal without me tomorrow night. I know, such a sad loss. Spencer Coots in the house. So sorry I'm late. What I miss? Oh, just most of it. Jonas's Emporium's in the house. Jonesy. Jonesy, my bad. Isn't that not what you said? I said Jones is this. Oh. <laughs> I heard Jones and Emporium. That's what it was. I'm a blacksmith. I'm, I'm hard of here. All right, Bob. Got to spend time with the family. Damn, Bob. You just had it for four or five days. I know. He couldn't, he couldn't get enough of me, I guess. You missed the beard already, don't you? We just do beard better down here in the south is all that is. Champ says Roy isn't doing streams Friday night anymore, right? I didn't think so. Spencer Coop says that's Monday's, Champ. That's Monday? And he says she sent you a picture, a picture of the ice saw and the hay saw. Open hills. Awesome, thanks, Penny. The weather's a few minutes out. This is gonna be our last heat, guys. We're gonna be shutting her down. So get in your comments, your questions. Maybe you super chat if you had plans to send one. Who knows? I would ask him just let you know we're shutting it down soon. A lot of folks like to save them for the end. You never know. They got a question. Get it in now. Questions, questions, questions. Bob said real men do the few man Fu Man Chew. Real men do the Fu Man Chew. Well, I'm not gonna comment what I was gonna say because we are on YouTube. Bob, I'll send that to you in the group chat. Bob, your Fu Man Chew is awesome. I don't give a damn what y'all may have said about it. Michael Dawes is in the house. Michael Dawes, what's up? Iron Eagle Ting, how long does that 40 pound tank last you? Uh, depends on what I'm doing. It could last me upwards of a week. The enforced air it runs at a very low PSI. I fill it up, generally fill it up right before my live stream every week. Unless I'm doing some heavy board welding or making a bunch of hammers, then it generally doesn't last quite as long. So, widen that up just a touch there. Mr. Pender said he still needs the specs on the sander. Ah, yes, Mr. Pinder. I am. I will get that. I am very sorry. I, I'm not going to lie. I totally forgot that you sent me an email asking if I can get those to you. Alejandro says hello. Alejandro, how you doing? Alejandra. Alejandra, how you hello. doing? Ah, sorry. Get that correct. I'm a blacksmith. I'm hard of hearing. 
Greetings from Colombia. Huh? She says greetings from Colombia. Colombia? How about that? How you going? Hit that like button, guys. I lied. One more heat. One more heat. I still see it way off in the distance over there. I can still see the cloud line. We're still out of the weather. But it's getting closer. Every time that lightning flashes, I can see the cloud line where the storm's at. So it's inching its way. I've been waiting for this live stream since quad state, so I don't want to cut it short unless I absolutely have to. Tektronmatic says I'm building dual burners for my Ford soon, so I expect my gas will be going up in little. That depends. Now, burner, you know, anytime you use a forced air, whether it be driven air or a ribbon burner or standard forced air, uh, mine is just, I'll tell you how mine is. Mine's a regular forced burner built for Venturi style, but I took the choke off the back and added air to it. Works phenomenally. Yeah, this is the last heat right here, though, because it's getting close. Here we go. We're just going to do some cleanup work. We're not going to try to get another tooth in there. Or are we? Alejandra says she loves your language. Thank you. I kind of push it to it myself. So she's learning English. Seems like you're doing a fine job. Science Addict says whenever they get around to around the building gas, it's going to run natural gas off the house. Gordon Stanley Ford showed me, Sam Gordon showed me a, a, a burner that he built. That dude's a, sci a mad scientist, man. It's a waste oil burner. You guys should go check it out. He got a video on his channel of his waste oil burgers. All right, guys. We got about halfway through the teeth, maybe uh, two thirds. Definitely want to put more teeth, but this weather is bearing down on us, and I need to have time to get this closed up. And camera gear and stuff out of the weather, so we got to shut this down. That's where we're at so far. We got the back split open for the handles. We got one, two, three, four, five teeth in there so far. Uh, we're going to say this is what we're working on until it's finished on the next couple live streams. So if you plan to come back for a live stream, this is what it'll be. Got one more question before we leave. Spencer, what we got? Spencer Coots wants to know where you got your anvil from. Where I got my what? Anvil. Uh, the lady up in Moxville. Moxville, Spencer. Moxville. Hans, you are right. Southern slang is a whole nother language. <laughs> All right. We're going to get out of here. You guys like my new hat? Got my new hat while I was up there. I didn't buy a whole lot of stuff. I uh, spent a lot of time meeting folks, shaking hands, and kissing babies and whatnot. And a lot of folks were really excited to meet me this, up there. Uh, I was actually kind of surprised that, that many folks recognized me. Just to be perfectly honest with you. Uh, get this thing off. So get them in, folks. We're wrapping it up. As you see, the weather is a bearing down on us. Let's see what we got. How many is in here right now? 41. 41. Man, I really hate to shut it down on 41 viewers right now. But it's a little dangerous out here. As you can see, the lightning's coming. They're calling for help. So we're going to shut it down, guys. I really appreciate you stopping in. Um, somebody let me know if they... 
know if Roy's doing his live stream tomorrow night because if he's not, I'm definitely going to do it around that same time that he does his normally. But if he is, then I'm going to find a way to schedule around that to be able to – that way I don't overlap on the his. I know there's a lot of you guys that go and watch his, and hell, I'm a fan. I go and watch it too, so I don't want to miss his live stream if he's doing one, uh, especially because I got to meet him. And Roy's, a, Roy's an awesome guy. He really is. Island um, Metal Forge, $2 in the Super Chat. How about that? Thank you, Yamez, sir. Save you money, though, brother, because you spent a lot of it this weekend. <laughs> Made some money, too. Yamez helped me. Me and him chipped in. We bought that truckload of vices together, and we turned around and flipped them and made some profit. So that was pretty cool. A lot of it was just junk vices that were uh, sold as wrought iron scrap. That they could be fixed. Like they had big chunks missing out of the jaw, or they were missing all the parts, and the screw box was the uh, the eyes where the screw box goes was split. It was just wrought iron scrap. Uh, made one good vice out of it because uh, I got a ton of parts with it. I got some screws over here for post vice wedges. Uh, got a bunch of that stuff still. If you if you need one, I may have a box the screw that's going to fit your screw box. But I got one good complete vice out of it. Hooked Mr. Cody Wagers up with that, and he bought some parts for it to put together a vice. I gave him the vice for free. He bought a few parts off of me, put him a vice together, got to take it home with him. So that's awesome. Charming Hollow says he recalls. Roy saying it's eight o'clock Friday nights. Eight o'clock Friday nights. Okay. So if we do it, it's gonna be before Roy's live stream, or maybe at seven. Just do an hour and just cut it short whenever Roy starts. If I do it. Hey, yeah, because you're only 20 minutes short of two hours here. Yeah, because I'm only 20 minutes short of two hours. So I'll give you guys another hour tomorrow night. How you like that? Another hour, I think we can get that thing finished up as far as we need to be anyways. Get a couple more teeth put in there and then get the handles bent around into the shape that we need them. So thank you guys for watching. We're starting to hear some thunder. The storm's getting close. It's getting a little sporty out here. We need to get things wrapped up, get things out of the weather so it stays dry. It doesn't get destroyed in this expensive camera. Uh, Got to pay for it somehow. I'm out here working. Y'all have a good evening. I appreciate you stopping in. We're going to catch you on the next one. Good night, guys.